Hello and welcome. Today we finalize the series Observing Sarah Boone's Behavior and Psychology during her two-hour police interrogation. If you're new here, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe and leave us a comment. Your input is essential for our learning and the growth of the channel. If you are new to this case, I suggest you visit our Sarah Boone's playlist and watch the full interview first. Either way, I'm glad you're here and let's look at Sarah's tendencies, language, and behavior. I am an outstanding mother to my son. Okay. I excel at everything, and I always know what to do and how to do it. I don't think you all understand who I am. I mean, I've always been a straight-A student. So is the texting thing something about me? Like, what's... Why did you say it like that? Like, I don't think you all understand who I am. Where okay. Grandiose narcissism is a pattern characterized by exaggerated feelings of superiority, entitlement, self-importance, and an obsessive need for admiration, and a lack of empathy towards others. Sarah displays a sense of grandiosity from the beginning by listing all her achievements and qualities in an attempt to win the detective's admiration. As this tactic does not seem to work, Sarah quickly changes her approach by listing how this terrible situation will affect her after everything she has done for George. That I, I, this has changed my life. I will take this. Knows, everyone knows everything that I've done for George and love him and continuously help him throughout his life with me and made him a happier, better person. Research suggests that people high in narcissism may see themselves as victims more often than others. Whether narcissists really feel like a victim isn't always clear. In general, people with narcissistic personalities have a difficult time being aware of their behaviors and how they affect others. They might feel attacked when contradicted as it just doesn't align with their inflated sense of self. See, this is what happens. It's not fair that you guys, just because he has those, automatically blame it on me. This is not fair at all, at all. And it's not fair. It is not fair. See, that is just not fair. This is horrific, okay? Horrific. It is terrible. Yeah, Horrific. I don't think I'll ever be right because of this. The victim card is not going well for Sarah. She raises her voice as a child would when in trouble. She doesn't grasp the tone the detectives are displaying and attempts one more time to suggest how this will affect her. Although her behavior may simply be the repetition of what has helped her get out of trouble in the past, one can't help but notice she does not display much remorse or sadness for losing her boyfriend, to the point where she doesn't believe she's in trouble, since it wasn't intentional. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Um, he's not going to get screaming out. at him. Oh, I never said that I was drunk, but I would never do that. Lack of accountability. Narcissists, although covering up with grandiosity, actually are self-loathing, fragile people who do not have a solid sense of self to rely on. They are already walking on tentative, shaky ground, where for most of us, admitting to a mistake and taking ownership to make something better actually feels good. The narcissist is not that grounded. I would not do that to him nor anyone else. But you did. Nobody understands our relationship. Probably because we had been drinking. But you weren't drunk. No. Just because I went upstairs and... Just you because you're us, drunk doesn't you mean that you... Times that you were not drunk. You said that you had your wits <laughs> about you. You said he had his wits about you. Mm -hmm. You said... I would not do that. Uh, oh, I never said that I was drunk. The narcissist lies and lies. To a point where the other person may question their own sanity. A term known as gaslighting. Simply put... The NPD lies for self-gain or to inflate their own self-esteem. Sarah insists in her police interview that she was not drunk when she forgot George in the suitcase. A drunk blackout could possibly have been her best defense, lowering the charge to involuntary manslaughter. But because of her ego and need for admiration, she could not admit to the detectives that she was far gone. And not until her ninth lawyer, she finally decided to say, she was intoxicated that day. I was in shock. I was 
traumatized by the situation and then trying to focus on everything that was going on, on my, at my home, um, I was hung over. I was still, I believe, intoxicated to a degree. Objection, Judge. Move to strike. Oh, I never said that I was drunk. Oh, I never said that I was drunk. Probably because we had been drinking. But you weren't drunk. No. Just because I went upstairs and... Just you because you're drunk doesn't you mean that you... Times that you were not drunk. You said that you had your wits <coughs> about you. You said he had his wits about you. A good time. I don't get... I can't get drunk. I, number one, I do not want to get drunk. I was hung over. I was still, I believe, intoxicated to a degree. I don't like being non complimentous having my wits about myself. I don't like feeling out of control. A little defensive, like, no, we're not alcoholics. He, I'm not. We are not. When all else fails and confronted with a fact, the narcissist will blame. It was your fault I hurt you. It was the victim's fault because he always talked to me like that. It was alcohol's fault. There is no way there is going to be accountability. Well, most of the time, I just don't want to be there. And I try to help him. I try to calm him down. Mm -hmm. Eventually, he just passes out. And the videos of him smashing my television because he's belligerently drunk. So when you all see my phone, you can see all of the damage he has done to me. And you I wouldn't do that to him either. I wouldn't do that to him. So I, I just... Well, it's not like, again, I don't think you all understand. Like, it's, it's the drinking. I don't, like being non complimentous having my wits about myself. I don't like feeling out of control. See, and then it's all backfired on me. Like, it's all backfired on me. To this point, Sarah has tried many tactics. She showed the detectives all her qualities. She played the victim, blamed, lied, yelled. Then she went to play the innocent child, the high school friend, by talking to the detectives like, this is not cool, guys. Come on, don't do this. What are you guys trying to do? But now, she desperately needs control. She needs to know what this is and what is going to happen. Sarah's under the impression she's going to pick up her phone and be free to go. This is what a narcissist looks like out of control. Breathe. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how. You want me to say it? I, I, I mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you because this was not in any way, shape, or form. Hand on the Bible, intentional. Love him. Mom makes you crazy. It doesn't do you one of those things on him. I would do anything for him. That video, that okay. Awesome. Anybody look at it? Does I don't think anybody no. looked at. That. Yeah. When because you should be more like concerned you, about what you've told us. It's because and like you guys are like trying. Choice. So what? Just don't understand. Because Eli was in there. Go over there and try over there. There's two bathrooms. So I wouldn't let somebody bathrooms? go upstairs and use my. Are you getting my phone back? No. Not today. You know how it was. Legally, we just have to tell his parents, and yeah. we don't go telling. We had to deliver news to them last night that their son was dead. There's we met you yesterday. But I, you keep going away from I, me. I don't know what you... That's, I don't, that's I don't exactly know what happened. You I, went up I, the bed, so woke up I, the Are you all trying to have me admit that? Like, are you trying to have me admit that? Because I will never admit it because it's not true. It's not true. I'm basically stating as a fact because that's what happened. Okay. You videotaped him asking to be let out. You go upstairs. So what, guys? So what? Like, just, I don't know what you want me to say other than it was not out of maliciousness or intentional. I don't know what or how I can say it. I love George. Love him. To this day, still. Love him. Mom makes you do crazy. It doesn't do, it's not one of those things where it's like, oh gosh, you know what? I've done enough for you at this point. I never gave up on him. Okay. Why I'm here today, I'm still not giving up on him. 
I would do anything for him. Well, you gave up checking up on him. So. I wouldn't let him out of the suitcase. Oh, gosh. Okay. I, We're simply just trying to go through. I mean, again, you gave us a completely different story that you churched up to. This was such a, a laughing matter. It was. It was, it was fun. Not by that all video. day. All not by day. That video. That all day. Wasn't. Anybody look at it? Does I don't think anybody so, will look at that video and go, George is having fun right now. So why is it you all think that I I y'all don't know me? You don't know me. Nope would do something like that, especially having a nine-year-old son. I don't know like, why... Nine -year -old, nine -year -old son. Like, why are, you so, why are you so, like, caught on what we think? When because you should be more like concerned you, about what you've told us. It's because and like you guys are like trying the things that the video shows that are opposite of what you told us, and then what you've now like told what is opposite? Today. Well, you said that it was funny, and you're yeah. the only one. Laughing. We were playing before that. Okay. Um, but then it stops. Yeah. It obviously stops being fun. Well, I. Because you're screaming at him. He's not going to get out. Screaming at him. Mm, sounds like screaming at me. I don't know what you all want to, me to tell you. In no way, shape, or form was this intentional. At all. Ever. Okay. Are you still going to allow us to do your fingernails? Go for it. Go for it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to get that set up. <coughs> do you need any more water? No, but when you come back, can I ask about this? Mm. Yeah. So what? I just don't understand. So it was I don't understand how your story changes so much to the fact that... How is it changing? Please help me explain. I understand. Well, you, you went on about how this was such a playful thing and you guys were laughing. And it probably was for a few minutes. But then it obviously changes. The whole demeanor of this whole situation completely changes. It's not the funny laughing matter. He's not laughing at all. I didn't think he was being serious. You absolutely sound serious. When I didn't you're answering think so. Now. Like I just. You don't think your voice? You sounded it's, serious. It's okay. I. I don't know what you want me to tell you. It was a great day. Okay. It didn't end well. Obviously. I was going to say that's. Uh, I mean. I can't explain to you. I can't explain to you. How horrific it was. Okay. To find him. Horrific. Because I don't remember taking those videos. Okay. How horrific. I'm thinking he's in the bathroom. I'm thinking he's downstairs in the laptop. I can't find him. Okay. So, what, so what's going to happen? Like, Here's what gets me, though, is you don't remember taking videos. You don't know where he is. You don't remember him being in the, in the suitcase. And you're still telling me that you had your wits about you. I, How does someone have their wits about them when See, that's the thing, too. But you can clearly tell. You can clearly tell that I had been drinking some. Yeah. You can clearly tell. I had several people that came up to me in that apartment complex said that you were drunk on a daily basis. Oh, my gosh. Right. Regularly. Right. Um, really? Right. Talk to the property really? manager. Talk to the property manager. Okay. Because it's not... These are your neighbors, the one that live next to you. Your property manager does not live next to you. They see you every day. How oh many... You had gosh. two neighbors you went to and asked to go... See, that is just not fair. Said, oh, you had two different neighbors that lived directly next to you. You asked to use a restroom and they told you no and turned you away. You had to go oh. across the way to somebody oh. else. No, okay. Kim and Eli... Eli, or Kim is not a nice person. Okay. She's just automatically not nice. Even Great. after me and Lucas went over there and introduced herself, she's just you. not a nice person. Then why would you think she would let you use a restroom? Because Eli was in there. Eli comes over and talks to us sometimes, which I think pisses Kim off because okay. he comes over and talks to us. The two of them, they're like super standoffish all the time. 
my neighbors down the street, down the way, their toilet was broken. They had stuff in the bathroom. So then they're like, go over there and try over there. There's two bathrooms. I would let somebody go upstairs and use my my personal bathroom. That's what the downstairs one is for. If it's somebody you like, would you? Or somebody you knew? They're in the process of doing all this stuff in the kitchen. And they're stuck in the bathroom and the toilet doesn't work. Just walk across the way. No problem. Mm -hmm. And of course they let me in. Them and them, they're together. They're part, they're families. And nonetheless, if you really want to know, and I hope it doesn't get them in trouble, but he is over here illegally. So he's trying to work on getting his green card. What does that got to do with you using the restroom? They didn't want to be involved. No, no, no. I was asking last night because, you know, I mean, we had several different people in the neighborhood come up. Eli and Kim. Drunk on a regular basis. Eli and Kim. Eli and Kim. Okay. Did you ask Minnie next door? Those are the ones next door that she asked to use the restroom, and they said no. No, she said no. And like I said, she's not a nice person. They're coming. What are your questions? Yep. I can help you out. Who's coming? To do the fingernails? Yeah. You said that we said. And you don't have to allow us to do it, just so you know. So don't think that it's I don't have a problem. Okay. Just make sure. (laughs) So am I getting my phone back? No. Not today. Um, What about Lucas' laptop? No. Not today. Not today. What does that mean? We're still going through everything. Oh, that's fine. You're the one just telling us there's videos that we need to see on it, so we That's need to fine. do our due diligence that we go through everything. See, and that backfires on me now, too, because now you all think that I had even more, in quotes, intent to do what I did then, which was not intentional. What's that? In that. Is that correct? She's asking about your tag in your hand. No, but I'm asking if that's correct. No, I'm not going to agree to anything that something. you're saying. I'm not that you're... No. So his person's not <coughs> Mm-hmm. Do you all inform her or do I need to call her? We don't need to. We don't have to inform her, so if you would like to call her, you can. Are you saying because he's still on probation? No, but because of the nice lady that she is and all that she's done for him, I thought, it, I didn't know how it was. Legally, we just have to tell his parents, and we don't go telling. We don't. Anybody else? I didn't even know who his probation officer was, so no, I wouldn't go tell. So the same thing for classes. I need to do that, too. Um. The to do what? substance abuse class and his <coughs> battery of intervention. Yeah, so we don't have to, to ask. So, other than this, so initially, what was the cause of death? She is still pending because she wants to hold the body for an additional day to see if more of those bruises turn into something bigger. Um, and uh, she's doing some other tests that she's got to do. So she's pending it for now. So, and that couldn't have been because <coughs> of him being in the suitcase. Or that's y'all are saying that I physically what, did it. That's what she's determining. So the, the ones on the head, I, I asked her, could that have been from the suitcase? And she said she didn't think so. I didn't touch him, nor did he touch me. Okay. I'm living in a dad. Um, so I don't know if you all know how to do this because I, so that's what I was going to ask you to ask you. So are you all updating his parents today or when you get final whatever's? What does it matter? Why? Mm-hmm. What we tell his parents? What do you mean? Because I, I we're going to have, we're going to talk to with them. Yeah. Okay, I, mean, I have to. But tell, it's going like, to come down to me. What do you mean? Like, so it's being put on me. Who said that? But I'm not. So what is it you would tell them? <laughs> We're going to give them an update, just like we gave you an update on their autopsy. Okay, so it's whatever bruise. Well, here's the thing. And here's the thing. Whatever on the head. We, we had to deliver news to them last night that their son was dead. There's not a whole lot of conversation that goes on after that. It's not a very easy thing. Was it to yesterday or Sunday? Sunday. Today's Tuesday, right? Did we not meet you yesterday? We met you yesterday. Yeah. I'm just asking. 
Right? Did we not meet yesterday? It's a valid question. Uh, really? Yes, on Monday. Got it. Perfect. So I don't know if I ask you guys or how I find this out other than talking to his parents, which is not going to happen. Yeah, probably a terrible idea. What, how do you guys suggest me finding out about funeral? Yeah. That's not even something that's been probably talked about between the family. That's not something we ask. We have no way of... I yeah. didn't know, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. So, It'll be up to them to make their arrangements of what they want to do. Like she just told you this quick, just being told last night, I'll pretty much be willing to wager that they have not even considered what they're going to do. <laughs> All right. My body can't even be released. No. So. Yes. I've been there with parents, grandparents, aunt and uncles. Um, so I don't know if I have the right to or not, but like I was going to call his former employees whom he really cared for and let them know. You can call whoever you want. I just don't want to do something that I'm not supposed to. Um, how do I go about getting his um, wedding ring, engagement ring? Is that the medical examiner's office? It'll come to us eventually and it'll then... Be, it'll be released to, oh, to, to the next of Kim. Yeah, okay. I bought it for him. Okay. That is a civil issue. It was on his finger, it goes to them. They're the ones that are going to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. Um, how do I go about getting his um, wedding ring, engagement ring? So I won't get that back. You are one to go You are one to go Sarah just doesn't get it. She doesn't get that George has died by the hands of another, and that is homicide. She tries and tries to talk her way out of this interview room, not realizing that the detectives are actually trying to pin her for first degree murder. Well, Sarah has definitely shown us her personality traits. So what do you think? What do you think that we can observe in Sarah's behavior? Do you think she has some narcissism, psychopathy, alcohol addiction? Please leave your comment below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.